Hello everyone, welcome to Curious Drive. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can update your Blazor project from HP.NET 5 to 6. I know in the previous video I said that was going to be the last video of the series, but look at the list of features that they have added into HP.NET 6. And it was one of the easiest updates that I had to do for my project. So I'm going to show you how you can update your projects. We are not going to dive into the features but I'm going to show you how you can update your project. First thing first, you need to download and install .NET 6 for your machine. You can get that from this link. I'll share this link in the video description. If you're using Linux and Mac for those operating system, also you can get .NET 6 too. I'm using Windows. I'm going to use the 64-bit version of .NET 6. I have already installed it on my machine and you can see that from the terminal if i run dotnet list sdk command then you can see this latest dotnet that i'm using is dotnet 6. so make sure that you have installed dotnet 6 on your machine before you update your project now in blazing chat we have uh, three projects client shared and server project so we'll need to update all of these projects because at least client and web api are dependent on each other so if you update one of those the other one won't work so make sure that you're updating all of these projects i'm going to open my client project and go to my project file here and instead of saying target framework to dotnet 5 now it's going to be dotnet 6. Now, once you have updated your target framework, you'll need to update your packages too, especially these Microsoft ones, which are pointing to five. So what I've done is I usually make a list of packages that I'm using for my project. And then I add .NET add package in front of it and make a list of it so that I could run these commands for my project. So I'm gonna copy these commands and then open terminal and make sure that i'm in client project and then i'm gonna paste my commands i'm gonna go back to my notes copy these and paste it here and this will start adding the latest packages for all the packages that i'm using for the client now I'm going to let it run and fast forward through the video and I'll come back to it and show you the difference of our project file. Now you can see that all those packages got updated. I'm going to close my terminal and go to my GitHub changes, Git changes. And here I'm gonna check out the differences. You can see that we updated this target framework. And when we ran that command, it also updated the packages from five to six, especially the Microsoft ones. So make sure that you're running that command and updating your packages too. Now we'll have to do the same thing for our shared project and for our web API project too. So I'm gonna go to my shared project open the project file and here i'm not using any packages so i don't need to run any command here but i'm going to change the target framework to six so that i could use dotnet six framework for my shared project too and last project is our web api project we need to update that project too i'm going to go to my web api project file here and make sure that i'm targeting to dotnet six and I have already made a list of these packages that I'm using for my web API project. You can see that in my notes file here. I have made a list of uh, these commands. I'm going to copy these commands again, and I'm going to do the same thing for my server project. I'm going to clean this and then make sure that I am in web API folder, and then I'm going to run those commands. So this will update my server project and make sure that my server is using dotnet 6 instead of dotnet 5. so i'm gonna let it run and fast forward through the video and then we'll run our application we'll clean our application 
run it and see if it's using .NET 6 or not. Okay, so now you can see that it updated all the packages. Now I'm gonna clean my screen here and I'm gonna make sure that all the assemblies which were there for .NET 5, those are gone. So I'm gonna run a .NET clean command. This will delete all the old assemblies which were there for .NET 5. You can see that it's showing .NET 6 for me because I have updated I've tried this before and it updated my application. So that's why it's showing .NET 6 here. That's what it deleted. But for you, it will show .NET 5 for you. So now I'm going to run my application. I'm going to say .NET 1 and I'm going to run my web API application. And let's add one more terminal here. And in this terminal, I'm going to go to my client project. And here I'm going to also run .NET run. Let's see if that .NET run is working fine or not. Here it's building for our server project, for web API project. It built and it is now running our server on localhost 6001. Now let's go ahead and build and run our client application. So I'm going to here say .NET run. And that's going to build my client application and run it on localhost 5001. So this is how easy it was to update our application to .NET 6. Let's make sure that I can browse my application. I'm going to go to my Firefox and uh, run my application. Let's go to our network tab and see if it's using .NET 6 or not. You can see that it's using .NET 6 now for running our application. And I can also visit my login page, get into the application, and the profile page should work just fine. So this is how easy it was to update. It literally took me five minutes to update. There weren't any breaking changes for my application, but you might have that. I'll add that link in the video description. If you have any other questions, please put those in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter account or Facebook account. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.